One of the best ways to add more interest to your documents is to create your own graphics using the drawing tool. There are lots of options to choose from, and you can customize them to suit your needs. In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a graphic like this, using only shapes and text boxes. Your first step is to open the drawing tool by going to Insert, Drawing. The tool will open in its own dialog box. This large blank area is your canvas. And here we have the different tools you can use to create your graphics, including lines, shapes, text boxes, and even images. To insert a shape, just click the command, then make your choice from the menu. As you can see here, there are several different styles to choose from. In this example, we're going to start with the 32-point star. Now, to draw your shape, click and drag your mouse on the canvas, then let go. The shape will appear with the default color scheme, blue with a black outline. We're going to talk about how to change that in a minute. For now, I'd like to finish this part of my graphic by adding a few more shapes. The great thing about shapes is the fact that they can be customized and layered to create something that's actually fairly complex. Mastering this element of the drawing tool takes time, but with a little practice and a little creativity, you can create almost anything. Right now, I'm using the control handles to adjust the shape's proportions. Now to add the ribbon that's going to go behind our first set of shapes. If one shape is overlapping another, you may need to change the order so that the correct shape appears in front. This is something that comes up a lot, so it's a good technique to know. Just right-click your shape, then go down to Order. If you have several overlapping objects, you might need to experiment with Bring Forward or Send Backward to arrange them exactly the way you want. In this example, we're going to use the last option, Send to Back. Next, I'm going to show you how to format your shapes. All you have to do is select the shape you want. To select more than one, hold Control on your keyboard while you click. Notice the commands that appear on the toolbar? You can use these to change things like the fill color, line color, line style, and more. Now for the finishing touch. Remember, this graphic is for a training certificate. It's being issued by a company called Ohio Health Solutions, so I'd like to add their initials to the seal, OHS. To insert a text box, click the text box command on the toolbar. Then type your text. There are many uses for text boxes in Google Docs. You can even format them using options like font color and size. Just make sure you have the text box selected, then look to the commands on the toolbar. When you're done, click the button in the upper right corner that says Save and Close, and your drawing will appear in your document. There are lots of things you can do with the drawing tool, though. This graphic is just one example. Why not practice on your own and see what you can come up with? GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.